everybody! Welcome back to Zoocraft! We are now on season two of our beautiful Zoocrafting world. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. Uh, I am super, super excited to start season two. Uh, where we left off, we had just finished building the butterfly aviary, but we hadn't put any butterflies in it yet. And I wanted to take a quick moment to um, basically talk about what will be different about season two. So if you haven't seen season one, you do not have to watch season one to watch season two. But if you would like to, um, go check out my playlists uh, tab on my YouTube channel and you can find all the ZooCraft episodes there. Um, so in a live stream the other day from when I'm filming this and when this is coming out, um, I built this habitat, not fully, but I started building it. I built the rest off camera, uh, but it is where we are moving our beautiful, uh, gray wolves. So that sparked a lot of ideas for me. I really, really, really want to get back to how this series felt when we first started. When we first started, this series was all about creativity and just having a fun time. And so I wanted to make it less pressure and just have fun with it and build a zoo with you guys and have fun learning about animals and just goof around, honestly. So yeah, that is what season two will be. Um, season one started off a lot like that. Uh, but as season one progressed, um, I got more and more about in my head about it. You guys kind of blew up Zoocraft episode one for me. And thank you guys. That was very, very sweet of you guys. Um, but I didn't expect that much attention. And so it put a little bit of pressure on the series and that kind of got rid of some of the creativity, but we are now able to get back to how things were before. And I am more used to having more eyes on me now. And yeah, I, I wanted to thank you guys for all the support and love. And the live stream the other day was super fun. Go check it out. I definitely want to be streaming a ZooCraft in between episodes. I think that it is one of my favorite things to stream, honestly. Um, but we have... Oh, really quickly. Um, another... another Really quick, really quick. I promise I'm almost done. I'm almost done rambling. Um, I'm never done rambling, let's be honest here. But I'm almost done with the opening ramble. Um... There's going to be a little less role playing and more so just um, storyline, if that makes sense. Um, it's going to be a little less like I'm a character in this world and more so like I'm playing a video game. Does that make sense? That's that's kind of the vibe I want to go for instead. Um, and I hope you guys like that. I think it's going to feel really cool. Also, we have more mods. So we're going to be exploring even more animals, even more mods and... Speaking of, those crates are holding something amazing. Also, the a new texture pack. I totally brushed over that. I, I forgot, honestly, that I have a new texture pack on. Um, I am using, uh, let's see what it's called. I am using uh, Comfy Comfy, which is a mashup of Jollycraft and Pickles uh, for 1.12. Um, and yeah, so, so a lot of the stuff, I was looking at my old habitats. My cat is meowing. Hello, baby. So we have two crates here delivered by Jessa, of course, uh, love her. Uh, we have a whole crate of um, a bunch of raw venison, which I think, I think our red wolves should be able to eat even though it's modded. Um, if not, I'll order another crate, it's fine. Um, or quote unquote air quotations have just sent me another crate. Um, and we have a bunch of new stuff from one of the new mods we added. We added a couple new mods, but this is one I'm very excited about. And it is, uh, zoo and wild animal mods, animal mod rebuilt. Um, and basically it adds in a bunch of zoo mods, zoo, zoo mobs, I should say. Um, also we have a paraglider mod. Um, but yeah, we received all these really cute stuffed animals and like invention toys. Um, and here is like a little, this is where we're going to be keeping all of our stuff. So let me grab all of this raw venison, raw meat, raw big meaty claws and put it in this chest in here. Um, the wolves have not been moved over yet, but there are some guys that snuck in and I'm tempted to just leave them and let the wolves at them because genuinely, they decided this fate for themselves. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I had to say it, I had to say it. But this is the final enclosure. It has a really cool bridge over the top and also, 
Um, we are going to be going into creative occasionally in this. I want it to be less pressure of being in survival. I'm not a huge survival girly. I am a sucker for creative building. So I ended up uh, building the bridge in creative because I knew it would have been honestly excruciating to build in survival. Big props to you if you guys are survival players. Um, I am a creative girly and I am still learning how to play survival. If you guys haven't seen, I posted my first ever time playing hardcore and it was honestly hilarious because I don't know how to play survival very well. But um, that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy it. I do enjoy it. It's just a matter of it takes me a lot longer than I feel like it takes most people. And I really, really just want to do what I love in this series. So I, I ended up I ended up building that in creative. Um, but most of the layout I did all in survival. You can see that in the live stream. Um, and yeah, like I, I made all like this cave. Now, I did add some heat lamps in here because I thought that might be nice for like the cubs as we breed more wolves and stuff. I don't know, Just it was just an idea. Um, we also have these new lamps from the new zoo mod, I believe. Um, I want to move my stuff out of here. We do have a bunch in this chest. Honestly, I don't want any of this stuff, I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm gonna go ahead into create. Oh, wait, wait, we actually, we totally can just, boop. We have a backpack. I added a backpack mod. Actually, I did not add that. We already had that. I just totally forgot that we had the backpack mod and I hadn't made myself a backpack. Um, let's just move all of this random assortment of vegetables out. And we're honestly, we're just going to get rid of it. I don't need all of these vegetables and fruits. As nice as it is to have so many different types of vegetables and fruits on us. I have so many just all around us. Also, I found a really cool area, by the way, guys. Um, I'll show it to you guys in a second. Um, so we have this tire swing and we also have a enrichment, like a hanging ball. And they're both good for like mental stimulation of the pets and stuff, well, the, the zoo animals. Um, and I'm trying to think of where I'd want to put them. Because uh, we don't really have a lot of trees in here. I might plant a tree. Um, oh, yeah. I I'm going to plant some trees. Because that is something that I actually do think we should have more of. Uh, can I... <gasps> it's on my back now. Oh, cute. Adorable. Beautiful. Oh, no. Did I get rid of... I got rid of my boots accidentally when I cleared my inventory. It's fine. I can totally get those back. I totally cheated them in, so it's fine. Um, just being honest here, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Okay, we got our stuff. Let's go ahead and we just gotta grab some saplings and then we can do the enrichment toys. I think both of these are gonna just be hanging from trees. Um, but, um, yeah, okay. Goats, you just, you just have fun. I mean, you can come out if you really want to. If you, if you really, if you really, really want to. Um, let's go ahead and just put these in there. Um, and then we'll just kind of keep a crafting table and a furnace. I feel like just like in here might be nice to have. Um, hmm. But where to put it though? I could just put the crafting table like there to be fair. And then just like that maybe. It's a little cramped, but honestly, it's fine. Um, this is not for, um anything crazy. This is just for, um, ooh, oh, I understand now. I was curious to what this was. This will be perfect for the bridge. So you can take a little closer, closer look at the animals. Yo. Okay. So I'm assuming to use it, we probably need some sort of coins that we can get through. There's animal traders now. They're a type of villager, kind of. Um, oh, I did want to look at some of these. Wait, oh, because of my shaders, they wiggle around. Oh, why is that so cute? Oh my god. Only some of them wiggle. I'm assuming because some of them are like, they start out as like a plant asset. But I do, okay, so basically why I have plushies is because I want to make a gift shop. Um, a lot of you guys in season one were saying I need to make it feel like a real zoo that like people could come visit. I totally agree. Um, right now, it kind of just feels like almost like a wildlife um like, you're, like, just like a habitat. It just feels like habitat after habitat. It doesn't really feel like a zoo. Um, and I, as much as I want it to feel more like habitats than, like, cages, obviously, 
I want it to feel like one of those zoos where you walk in and you just have the best time and it's like so cozy and there's a lot of really cool stuff and that way obviously you get more funding to support the animals and whatnot. Oh gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I am so excited for season two and I think the wolves are also very excited. All the animals I think are very excited because it is going to be much better than season one. Okay, let's go ahead and take a nap. Um, but yeah, I will be switching to creative occasionally just because I, as much as I love the grind, I don't, I don't love the grind. Um, hi Curly Fry! I just would much rather be able to have my animals have bigger habitats. Like, I want to make a bigger cabin with a bigger backyard for Curly Fry Jr. here. I just, I don't, I don't know. I just, I really like being able to, especially because we're always adding in mods, I want to be able to play with those mods without having to travel you know, chunks and chunks away to what hasn't been explored yet. Speaking of what hasn't been explored yet, I actually have a place near the gray wolf habitat, um, or exhibit, I guess. No, I guess it would be habitat. Um, that is, um, very pretty that I want to put a, uh, a, um, habitat in. Um, I think it would be really cool. Or like a cafe with like a view of the area. Sorry, I didn't like that there was a singular dirt block, so I was trying to fix it. Okay, is he... You know what? You do you. But yeah, tell me in the comments how you guys like how this turned out, if you guys want me to add anything. I really enjoy your guys' opinions. And again, since season one, this has always been a chance for me to talk with you guys and get to know you guys even better, and you guys get to know me even better, and so I want to keep it that way. I really, that's my probably one of my favorite parts about this series. Um, okay, so it is over here, the area that I was talking about. Isn't this just beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I think this is probably my favorite little area we've found so far. Um, oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it. Also, you might have probably noticed, um, birch trees are now cherry blossom trees, which, you know, your girl loves some pink, if it wasn't already very, very obvious that I love pink. Um, I, I, I really do enjoy pink. Also, if you guys didn't know, at 50,000 subscribers, I'm dying my hair pink. <laughs> I'm terrified. Um, but I'm also very excited. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun having pink hair. I've always wanted pink hair, like, since I was a kid. And I think it'll be just like the prophecy coming true finally. Um, did we collect those crates? No, we did not. Ugh, sad, sad. I think we had to like um, uh, oh what like seal them to be able to grab them. But it's okay. I didn't need to grab them. I just didn't want them there anymore. So honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I will say I do want to make a path to the uh gray wolf habitat pretty soon. Oh, this is Justice House. Hi, Jessa. Love you. Okay. Um, pretty sure she has no new dialogue options for me. Um, I was supposed to grab something, wasn't I? ADHD go burr. I was supposed to grab something. Hmm. Hmm. What was I supposed to grab? I have a lot of books. Why do I don't know why I have so many books. Um, I know I was supposed to grab something from here. Uh, oh, saplings. That's what it was. I also might grab some buckets so that we can maybe make like a little water area in there. Because I feel like, you know, they're wolves. They probably do want a little bit of water area, you know. I feel like that's probably true. Ooh, wait, do we have bones? Bones. Bones. I feel like we need some bone meal to like speed up the tree growing process. We have two. You know what? Six. I'll take it. I'll take it. So I'm thinking we'll have the path go through here and then maybe wrap around here to the butterfly aviary because I definitely want the butterfly aviary to have a path to it and put some butterflies in it. Um, the butterfly aviary honestly looks really cool with the new texture back. At least I think it's really cool. You guys might not like it as much, but it's purple now. <laughs> um, because I think it's birch wood that we made it out of, but birch wood is purple now. And honestly, I think it looks so adorable. I think that it still looks adorable. But yeah, if you walk from this area directly back here towards where it is, it's a way less uh, like treacherous path, I guess, is how you could put it. Um, where's my... Oh, God. Uh, e, ooh, ah. Okay, diamond sword. There it is. Oh, God, there's two of them. 
Eee, stay back, foul beast. Stay back. Stay back. Oh my god, I'm so good at Minecraft. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna explode. I got so scared. Oh my god, the, is the XP little candies? Did you see that? I think it's candies. Also, if I go underwater, it's so adorable. It's like little hearts all around me. It's like so cute. I love it. Oh, perfect example. See the little hearts? Oh my god, they're so cute. Okay, let me get you guys out of here. I know you guys are stuck, so let me get you out. There you go. You guys can get out now. You welcomes. There you go. All these little holes. I wonder how, how many times these little guys get stuck in these holes and I am not there to help them. Poor little dudes. Well, now you guys can get in and out, so it's your, it's your choice if you want to go to for a splash, a splish splash. Yeah, if you walk directly from this area, like straight, like that's where the uh, butterfly aviary is. Uh, if you walk straight this way, it leads to like the entrance perfectly. So I'm thinking we'll make the entrance over there. Or originally I was gonna make it over there. And I just, I don't know, not the entrance, uh, the pathway. Um, I, I think it, I think this way honestly is the cleanest path for sure. Um, and then like along the way, we'll add like maybe um, one of the gift shops and um, I don't know, maybe another habitat. Um, I definitely want to make it very habitat rich. And I want make it, to make it feel like you have to go through the habitats to get to other habitats so that more animals get like seen and stuff like that. Um, and get the attention they deserve. I feel like that's going to be awesome. Um, I'm still curious on how to use that. Oh, let me show you guys my paraglider. It's so speedy. We're going to be able to get around our zoo so much easier now. Oh my god, I'm on top of the deal now. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I was very happy to get the paraglider mod because um, I really wanted an easier way to travel around without having to be in creative. Um, and I got that. So that's pretty awesome. Um, okay, let's go ahead in here and plant some of these spruce trees. Um, maybe like one night. Mm. Maybe one like right here. Oh, you used up all of my deals. How dare you? And then maybe one like here. That's what I'm thinking. Well, once those grow, we can put the stuff on them. But for now, but for now, uh, we will, we will, we will have that amount. <laughs> we will have, we'll have two little saplings and they will grow eventually. Um, let's go ahead and move over the guys now though um let's move over to guys uh the guys our little pals i think we have we should have a stack of leads at the house if we don't then i'll just cheat them in because i know we had them at one point and i might have accidentally cleared my inventory between episodes or something so i am notorious for that i am the i am i am notorious izumi i was trying to make i was trying to make a tenacious d Reference for those who do know what that is. I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay. Good fry. I love you. Good night. Um, let's see. Okay, we have nine leads. Definitely not as many as we had. I'm pretty sure we had a stack or something before. Maybe not though. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some din din. Uh, yes. Just like that. Delicious. Oh, I'm also excited to like hire people to be at our place. I'm gonna put all these plushies all over my cabin. Um, I'm excited to like hire people to be at like working around the place, like have more zookeepers, have people talking about the animals and stuff like that, people taking care of different animals because once the zoo gets big enough, I'm gonna need more people, you know? Um, especially like I'm gonna add guests as and guest NPCs in and stuff like that. I think that's gonna be cool. So we don't have a lot of room, <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Oh, the little guy, the little guy. Honestly, do we have enough sun? Yeah, we have enough sun. We have enough sun to take the. They they love doing that, don't they? Um. Okay. Are you guys all angry? Oh my god, you guys look so cute with the new texture pack. 
Oh my god. Okay. Xena and Jax. And then I think you guys are angry. Katie, Mom Tilda. Okay, come on. Come on, separate. So I can see who is who. And Jade. Okay. I think there was more. Was there not? Xena, Jax, Mom Tilda, Jade, Katie. I think is that it? I think that's it. I don't want to leave anyone behind though, you know? Well, I guess if I don't find anyone, it's a small enclosure. There's a reason why we're moving them to a bigger one so that they can, you know, frolic. I guess that's it. Okay. Um, don't go killing anyone when we're out. Okay? Okay, beans? Come on. One at a time. Okay, let's go. Before it gets too dark out. Come on. Okay, this is gonna be quite the tedious walk. Let's actually, let's go this way. It's less lit up, but it's a more direct walk. Come on. Come on. Come on, Xena. Let's go. Yes, yes, good, good, good. Exactly what I planned. Oh god, they're angry. Ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore them. They're okay. They're okay. They're cool. They're with me. Okay? Ignore the goat. Don't attack the goat. <gasps> oh my god, my game froze. I got terrified that they were going to kill the goat. And I was going to come back and there was just going to be goat carcass in front of me. But there's not. You guys are good. You only bit him once. <laughs> Improvement. Okay, get ready. Once you guys are in here, the goats that are in this enclosure, you can have free reign on, honestly. Okay. I'm gonna make a head count once we get inside. Everyone, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. You guys are ridiculous. But I love you. Come on. I think I lost one on the way over. I could have sworn there were five when we left. I think I might have lost one. But they're named Tag, so I'll find them. Okay, let's go. Yay! Most of you made it. I'm pretty sure all of you made it, honestly. I think not. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that goat is going to die. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, there you go. There you guys go. Okay, I'm gonna try to find... Okay, because we have we have Xena, Matilda, Katie, and Jax. Yeah, there was Jade. I'm gonna go find Jade. You guys have fun attacking the goats. <laughs> Look, man. Oh! Hello! Are you Jade? Yes. Thank you for not going too far away, Jade. I appreciate that. Okay, let's go on in. So there's just one of you. I think we can go through the main door. What a lady. I appreciate it. Okay. You guys have so much room to play and you guys are just staying in this corner. Come on, guys. This is this is your new enclosure. You guys have so much room now. Come on. You can frolic. They're not used to this. <laughs> They're so not used to this. There's a goat. You want goat? Ooh, I know how to I know how to warm them up to the area. I know exactly what to do. Oh, also in these like little like huts, I also want to add beds because I feel like that's probably smart. Um, okay, do you guys like venison? Can you guys eat venison? Oh, you can't eat venison. Okay, scratch that. I'm retconning it. Retconning it. Don't worry about it, guys. Never even happened. Never even happened. Don't worry about it. Don't even stress about it. Oh my god, so much medicine to get rid of. Jesus Christ. Oof. 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 Okay. We're just gonna some beef. Raw beef. Raw beef. Yes, yes. And then we'll just... Oop, didn't mean to do that. Meant to do that. There we go. Yes. Yes. And it was always beef from the beginning. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. It was always beef. What? What? Excuse me, Xena. Want some- <gasps> You guys want some food? Come on! Come on! Oh, why aren't you guys following me? Come on! 
You guys can also uh, have little wolf babies. I'm going to just like toss it around. Cause maybe they'll come to it. They're just so like, they're not used to having such a big area to run around, I guess. Here. Let's just get you guys further out. Because I'm worried you're going to run out the door. Because you guys are so close to the door. Here you go. You guys have such a big, nice area, right? So nice. You guys ha also have a nice little cave over here with some heat lamps for the cubs. There was a gnat in front of my face. I just blew on the microphone to get it out of my face. Oh, God. The gnat is back. This is breaking my immersion. Ugh. I think the net has been dealt with sufficiently. Okay. Well, you guys are having a nice time, I feel like, in your new enclosure. You don't even know what to do with all this space. So I'm going to give you guys some beef. And you guys can make wolf babies if you, if you choose to. You don't have to. I think three of you guys are related. So honestly... Make sure there's no incest, please. Anywho, that is where we're going to be ending today's episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am super freaking excited. Let me know what enclosures you guys want me to make in the future, what buildings you want me to make in the future. And Raven is back, and she is walking across my desk, and she says goodbye as well. What was that, Raven? What, what was that? Here, come here. Come to, the, come to the microphone. What was that? What did you say? <gasps> really? She wants you guys to like and subscribe. So if you don't do it, Raven's going to be real sad. Raven's my cat, by the way. If you didn't know, by context clues. Anyways, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.